This video tutorial covers the process of adding a jump station page to the site that you've already created. The jump station page will contain information and links to other web resources on the topic that you're covering in your site. Remember that in the example I'm using, I'm covering the partnership between Murray State University and its partner institution in Regensburg, Germany. To prepare for that, I've assembled a set of resources that I've looked at to see which ones I want to include and identified three specific sites. Uh, Wicked Travel, the Tourism Office in Regensburg, and the English homepage of the University of Regensburg. So I'm going to begin from the homepage that I created last time, including the same material that we've already developed. By hitting Login and Signing In, I reach the Website Tonight Development page, and I have launched Page Designer which is where I am now. Now notice I'm on the home page and I'm going to add a second page, a jump station page to it. To do that I enter the title of the page and select its layout. This is going to be a very simple page with a table in it so I'm selecting the most basic layout that I can and now the page is here and ready to go and it is now my job then to change the contents. The first thing I'll do is center this title. I select the text and move it in. Notice that it's picking up the title from the heading that I've given it, given it earlier, so that if I change the title of this uh, page in Properties, uh, it will change the title here as well. Now I'm going to add material uh, to the Jump Station page, uh, and it will be composed of two different components. The first will be an explanation of what the purpose of the page is and how I've pulled together the links and rated the links that I'm going to include in it, and then I will add a table which includes the, the links themselves, the URLs and the, and the hyperlinks to the sites, a description of the site, uh, and a rating of the site based on a scale that I've explained in the explanation. To do that, I add objects in this portion of the page, and I'll begin by doing a uh, subtitle, which I want to have in Times New Roman, about 6, and I'm going to call it Regensburg. information sites. Uh, and let's center that and simply hit save. And now in that block we're done and ready to go. We are now ready in insert to add another block of information. Notice that it comes up here. And this is the, the block that I'll use to provide the explanation of what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm back and you can see what I've typed. I've described the usefulness of the site, the how I've chosen to evaluate all the uh, links that I've added to the site uh, and how I'm going to uh, communicate their ratings to the to users. So now I'm ready to add the materials themselves. To do that uh, I'm going to insert another block and in this block I'm going to add a table. So I will insert a table. It's going to have 20 rows for each of the one for each of the sites. Each one needs three columns. I set the width to 100 percent and I'll align the table in the center. Okay, so now it's ready to go and it lays out the structure of everything else that's going on. So here's the way I'm going to do that. I'll show you one and then take another break and go through the rest of them. This is the Regensburg Tourist Office. Okay, so all I do now is provide an explanation of why I think uh, users will be interested in this site. Uh, and I believe this one is one of the best sites I have, so I'm going to come to that last cell. And I'm going to rate it five stars. So I have the rating system in place, 
To provide the hyperlink, I select the text, select the hyperlink command, indicate that I want it to be a URL. I then navigate to the page that I want to link, to which I want to link, copy the URL of that page, paste it into this box, and indicate that I want to open that window, that link in a new window. So now I'm ready to go. I save that, then go to the preview, This is the home page. I move to Jump Station. There's my link. And it opens in a new window. So, back to website tonight. That looks good to me. That's what I want to do. So now I'm ready to publish. I'll publish only the updates. That's complete. Now let's go back to my home page and see how that's worked. Here's the home page I created last time. And now by clicking on this link, I come to the jump station that we just worked on. Uh, I have all the sites ready for the places in the, in the table ready for the next sites that I want to do. Uh, the table, or the site that I have created, the link that I've created works. Uh, and now I'm ready to go. So I simply repeat that process to fill out the 20 links that are required for the Jump Station page, uh, and I have completed this component in the assignment. And that completes this video tutorial.